Data analysis is an important and integral part of the process of qualitative research. The data that we collect for qualitative research in general is called qualitative data. And the analysis process um, that is aimed at understanding and making meaning of qualitative data is called qualitative data analysis. In this presentation, I would like to briefly introduce the general process of qualitative data analysis. Um, and so this is basically an introduction to the, to the process of qualitative data analysis. So first of all, let us begin with what actually is qualitative data. Um, qualitative data generally includes textual or audiovisual data. So in contrast to, in comparison to quantitative data, which is generally in the form of numbers or quantities, qualitative data is in the form of text or audio, or it is in the form of audio or visual data. The, the, the data in qualitative studies is generally extensive, mainly because we know that the written text or the verbal information is generally um, in, 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 in the, the amount that we get through is generally more than numbers which, is, which actually give more discrete form of data. Then the, the process of data analysis generally involves uh, transcription, uh, translation, transformation, organization, and searching for relevant information, uh, labeling or coding, and interpretation. Transcription actually is the, that because in many cases data in qualitative studies is, in, uh, uh, is recorded as audio, so that needs to be transcribed into textual form or into written language. In some cases, the information that we get, uh, especially using primary sources of data, will be, might be in one language, and we need to write the report in another language, and so for that, in some cases, translation is also important. Then transformation actually is um, the arrangement or uh, the reorganization of data into a form that is more open to interpretation and to analysis. So the transformation of data to make it more manageable uh, in order to analyze it. Organization of the data in line with our research objectives and research questions is an important aspect of the data analysis process. Then searching for relevant information um, inside the big or extensive data that we have collected through our uh, sources. And then labeling or coding, which is actually categorizing uh, the textual data, the extensive data, keeping in view our research objectives. And then interpretation or meaning making uh, that actually means critically reading the data and analyzing the data and making it meaningful in terms of responding to our research questions and objectives. Um, and so you can see that this is quite an interesting, but at the same time a complex process um, that is involved in qualitative data analysis. So. We also will have briefly have a look at some of the main sources of qualitative uh, data. So generally qualitative data in most qualitative research studies, uh, the, the data comes through observational notes. Because in a majority of uh, pure qualitative studies that happen in naturalistic environments, observation uh, is one of the main sources of data, and then diary or journal uh, um, entries 
is another very important source of, uh, of qualitative data. Interview tapes or transcripts of the interviews is another important source of qualitative data. Then audio visual records also is also in, uh, in, in some qualitative studies, this is also an important source of qualitative data. Besides this, because most qualitative data <clears throat> is actually based on written text, or that is actually in language form. So uh, written documents that include books and newspapers, for example, magazines or registers or records, or research papers, or other documents, um, actually depending on the, the kind of study or the kind of research objectives that we have, uh, uh, there will be a variety of, um, in many cases, a variety of written documents. Um, and so written documents or documents in text form uh, will be an important source of qualitative data. Um, and so this is, these are like the primary very important sources of qualitative data. There could be other sources of qualitative data as well. Then we move on to the last part of the presentation and some of the important qualitative data methods uh, include the following. The first one which is very commonly used is called thematic analysis. And thematic analysis as the very name suggests is actually the searching for uh, themes inside the qualitative data. So searching and evaluating themes and patterns within qualitative data um, is called thematic analysis. And in many uh, qualitative studies generally, especially in interview-based studies, um, the process of analysis in, um, involves searching for uh, themes inside the text or inside the interview transcripts. The second one is content analysis, which is actually analysis of textual visual contents. Um, and um, the content analysis actually is a bit, there is a bit of quantification in this one because the content is generally analyzed for finding patterns and for finding for finding chunks of, of language or in, in some cases words or sentences and there is a bit of counting involved in the content analysis um, and so therefore content analysis is an important and a very useful um, method of data collection uh, of data analysis in qualitative studies. Then narrative analysis, as the very name suggests, um, is basically analysis of narratives or stories. So narrative analysis is, is like a whole research method in qualitative studies where stories of individuals or groups are recorded and then they are actually analyzed in the light of research objectives and research questions in order to get themes and meanings out of it. Then discourse analysis is basically the analysis of language, written or verbal language within its social context. And so um, each of these need further explanation in detail. So I'll have uh, maybe I'll, I'll have further uh, individual lectures on these. But at the moment, um, discourse analysis is actually the analysis of the written language uh, with reference to the social context in which the language has been used. Um, then interpretive phenomenological analysis is actually the interpretation of the lived personal experiences of individual. These experiences especially are experiences that are intense personal psychological experiences 
of individuals uh, who have gone through a particular situation or who have experienced certain, uh, certain uh, situation in the social context or in uh, actually the intense lived experiences. So phenomenological um, analysis, interpretive phenomenological analysis is another very important qualitative data analysis method and actually it again it is a whole uh, research method inside the qualitative research paradigm and then the grounded theory approach uh, the grounded theory approach is actually the analysis of data uh, in order to develop theory. So the development of, of theory based on an analysis of the primary data. In the grounded theory approach to qualitative uh, data analysis or to qualitative research, the researcher generally does not come with preconceived hypotheses or ideas um, and they do not test theories through data but on the contrary the data actually is analyzed in order to develop a theory and because the theory that we get is uh, actually grounded um, in, the, in, the, in the primary data that we have collected as researchers therefore this approach is called grounded theory. So as you can see qualitative data analysis uh, is actually the process of analyzing qualitative data. It is generally textual data or visual data. Uh, the process involves reading the uh, tr actually transcribing or first of all collecting the data then transcribing and translation of the data is involved in the process. Once that is done, the next process is reading and rereading um, around the data, analyzing the data, and making meaning out of the data, searching for themes, uh, searching the contents, analyzing the contents, or analyzing the stories um, or discourses, or experiences of individuals and groups in detail in order to get answers in response to our research questions and in order to achieve our research objectives.